Hey everybody, welcome to Trend Watch by CompTIA Research, where we give you a little bit of this and a little bit of that in today's technology data. Today's topic, the health of the IT channel. Uh, we've just completed and soon we'll be publishing our uh, annual State of the Channel Research Project. Um, happy to say that that's been ongoing for 11 years now, 11 years. So um, we've had uh, a lot of time to assess and survey what's going on with all of our friends out there in the, in the channel landscape. And um, I'd like to talk to you today about um, the general health and well-being of, uh, of the channel from the perspective of the respondents to that study. Um, and what we ask every year is, you know, how are you feeling about the channel itself? So the channel writ large, all of not just your company, but the, the position of the channel company within the technology landscape, within the general economy and the business landscape. And I'm, you know, I'm happy to report that the vast majority, almost everybody, nine out of 10 believes the channel is still very, very vibrant and very relevant. But it breaks down on um, what they describe as what their definition of relevance is. Um, so about half of our respondents say that the channel is very relevant today, but it's changing rapidly. Um, and about 45% that are almost that other half say that the channel is again, very relevant today, but pretty steady. Um, and I think that that sort of um, it best encapsulates the way the channel is in, in really set up into two different camps these days. There's mainly the camp of the more legacy or traditional channel. And then there's the camp of uh, channel companies that maybe are newer to the fold, more focused on services, more focused on managed services, um, may not even be doing a lot of product reselling at all, but more focused on consulting. Um, and some of the newer digital transformation business models that are out there. Uh, so that it makes a lot of sense. Um, other things are happening within the channel that would uh, would account for that half saying that things are changing rapidly. And that has a lot to do with the way that buyers are selling, um, that customers are buying these days, their habits are changing. Um, it has a lot to do with the ecosystem of the channel itself expanding into those different business models that I've discussed here. Um, so a lot is going on. All of this is actually good news. And it gets me into the next data point that I want to sh share with you today. And that is that 63%, so almost two thirds of our respondents said that their individual company is in better shape today than it was two years ago. That's great news. The bulk of the balance of, uh, of that um, 100% uh, ma mainly said that their business is the same. So it's not a lot of companies that are saying that they are in worse shape than they were two years ago. But let's think about that 63% that's in better shape. Two years ago, what was going on? Well, we were really in the thick of the pandemic or right on the kind of the downslope of the pandemic. A lot of companies in the channel um, struggled during that period of time. Um, many treaded water. Um, some were trying to figure out, you know, how to reinvent themselves, um, how to deliver services in a different way because companies and customers were all remote. It was a fraught time for all of us. The economy was completely um, wacky. Um, and so it made a lot of sense that maybe their businesses weren't in the best position at that time. Two years hence, um, they're they're uh, they're more optimistic. They're they're uh, they're happier with the place that their business is in. There's probably a lot more stability right now, despite the fact that last year's economy in 2023 was a little bit hard to predict. Um, um, so there is some reason behind that optimism for for their business. Um, but what's going to keep that going looking forward? And that's another thing that we explore within this study. So what are some of the conditions or factors? that will need to be in place or will or already are in place that will help drive um, that healthiness um, and optimism for the channel going forward. And I'm gonna single out the three top factors that our respondents cited. The number one thing that they believe is gonna continue to drive optimism and health for the channel is the fact that um, the complexity of technology is increasing hand over fist. And um, that may sound like a bad thing, but actually what it does is drive a lot of customer demand. So if you're an expert as channel companies are in technology and business solutions, customers faced with an ever complex uh, environment out there and, and lots of choices with how they deploy and use technology are gonna need to turn to somebody, a provider, uh, who is an expert who can help them with that. So the more complex things are, the more customers and potential customers are going to be needing help that's good news if you do the math for the channel. Um, where is that complexity coming from? It's all over the map. I mean, there are companies doing digital transformation projects. Uh, cybersecurity is an ever-present complexity. The data landscape in terms of breaches 
and having to get your environment to be as safe as possible and all of the implications there continues to be more and more fraught with complexity um, as every year goes by. We have new things like artificial intelligence that have cropped up um, that are going to um, perplex customers as much as they're perplexing a lot of us even in the industry today about how this AI is gonna fit into the business landscape. And they're gonna need help with that. And that goes to the number two thing on the list is that the adoption of AI tools by customers and by channel firms themselves internally should hopefully drive a lot of optimism and health for the channel going forward. Customers are gonna to need to figure this out. So they'll be turning to their experts to help them. How is AI gonna help us? How is AI not gonna help us? What do you know about it? And what can you share? All of those are opportunities for channel companies going forward. And likewise, the channel has an opportunity to use AI tools to make their business more efficient and more operationally sound um, and, and therefore then healthier and more profitable and probably hopefully driving more revenue for them. Thirdly, the demand for cybersecurity, as I mentioned before, is not going to wane in the year ahead. And so that um, continued demand for those channel companies who step up to the plate, go beyond just table stakes skills within cybersecurity, but learn some of the breadth and the depth of some of the more complex skills that they can offer and services to their customers, they will continue to benefit in the year ahead. Uh, from that particular discipline. Unfortunately, it'd be nice to say cybersecurity uh, is a moot point and doesn't matter anymore, but that is not going to be the case anytime soon, if ever. And then I'll leave you with this. It's really about focusing on your own company, focusing on those things that can, that you can control, that'll make the year ahead a much more, um, hopefully, healthy one for you and for the greater channel. Thank you. <laughs>